Move over, kids, because there's only 1,000 of these in the entire existence of all the world. Let's open it right now. Okay, 95 pounds. That's how much this costs from Great Britain. It is a super rare game called Earthlock. It is the collector's edition. So let's open it up and see what the limited run games of England has to offer us bloody Yankees. <laughs> And remember people, I buy stuff, I open stuff, so you don't have to subscribe below to this kooky channel that has a lot to offer you. So now that that's ripped open, let's see what comes next. And this is how it's packaged. I'll let gravity do the work. Nothing else in here. There will be some people who will keep this box. I am not gonna be one of those some people. The bubble wrap is tailored for this it is the exact size needed so that's interesting to note and now we have ourselves earthlock i have no idea what this game is about i have an idea because it says embark on a journey so so far my idea of this game is a journey let me take the cellophane off or the plastic off so it's not too shiny it doesn't seem too shiny actually it's been shiny oh there's some shine there's some shine <sighs> It came across the pond very, very well. You guys do not want to hear my English accent, do ya? Hello, Poppet! I poke the little plastic little corner right here, the little plastic hill. Just go along the seam. Now you kind of just slide off the plastic like a wet sock. I know I've used that wet sock reference before, but it still applies. <sighs> I forget what's in here. It looks like it's gonna be an LP. For you kids out there, an LP is, what does an LP stand? What does LP stand for? I was gonna say vinyl, but that doesn't seem LP, limited LP. I don't, I have no idea what an LP is, but that is a record. For you kids out there, a record predates the 8-track. The 8-track predates the cassette. The cassette predates the CD. CD predates MP3 player or iPod. iPod MP3 player predates Spotify. Spotify, I think, is where we are currently at. So if you guys are like three generations from now, like ahead of Spotify and the music, all you gotta do is like tap your brain three times and you get the music and you're like, Spotify, what an old file. Fossil. That's right, I'm an old fossil. Move over, kids. I'm an old fossil who collects games, and I am proud of it. 39 years old, and I am still buying games. Looks like this. Here's your cover, and it looks like there's a cast, a colorful cast of characters, and even an animal. I don't know if that's like a giant bat or a pig. If it's a pig, I'd eat it. I don't know if the pig can like talk. If it could talk, I don't know if I would eat it. There'd be a lot of questions I'd have before I could eat something that could talk. I don't think I, I don't think I can. In fact, I'm gonna say no, I can't. The back looks like this. There is a giant island. I don't know if that's the earth per se, because you're like earth locked on this earth, but maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's like Wind Waker, Zelda. I have no idea. Uh, it has some pictures of the game over here. Now let's read the inscription. Embark on a journey to save the beautiful world of Umbra. Umbra! So many jokes, I don't know what to do with Umbra. A harsh planet that stopped spinning thousands of cycles ago. What started as a mission to rescue Amon's uncle from the clutches of an ancient cult soon spiraled into an adventure that was centuries in the making. You must bring together this group of unlikely heroes to stop the ruinous past from repeating itself. If it's already stopped spinning, how can the past repeat itself? In fact, you almost want the past to repeat itself because if it, if it made it stop spinning, maybe it would make it start spinning because I'm assuming that's kind of the problem that the world just stopped spinning. You can't stop it again if you're already in the stopped process. Does that make sense? Explore the magical world of Umbra. 
fast-paced and highly strategic turn-based battles. Heck yeah! I love highly strategic turn-based battles. Uh, harvest magical materials to craft helpful items and perks on your home island. I bet this is your home island. So the fact that you have a home island makes me assume that you're going to be coming to this island back and forth, back and forth. I could be wrong, though. I have no idea what Earthlock is other than what we just learned in the description that I read literally just now on video. Utilize the talent board, combining a classic skill tree in quotes, and equipment to customize your character's progression. Grow your friendship between different character pairs for a technical advantage in combat. Help the people of Umbra along the way to unlock more useful items. Alternate between playable characters. Sounds like a cross between Fire Emblem and Zelda, to tell you the truth. And that, my friends, is a very awesome cross. Oh, if you could cross those, you got yourselves a winner. Pretty heavy. Now that I think about it, I bet it's an art book instead of an LP. And la 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 la. That was my attempt at Zelda sound. All right, so here we go. This right here is foam. The art of Earthlock. I was right. It's an art book right here. Look at this. I take it out and a piece falls. So it looks like they had it all set up. You get an extra little piece. So make sure if you are buying this game in the aftermarket that it includes this little styrofoam thing right here. Otherwise it won't be fully complete because the moment I took the art book out it fell. It fell. It fell. There. It fell. For an art book, it doesn't have a lot of art on the front, and it has zero art on the back. So you can definitely not judge this art book by the back of its cover. Okay, so now let's... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. Relax, everybody. Calm down. Calm down. So it looks like we got some stuff, but let's see what fell first. A comic book? Comic book! Oh my gosh, this is a straight up comic book. Oh man, I'm in love already. This is Earthlock, the Clay Orchid and the Storm Dog. I gotta be careful, I know how to handle comic books. And the Clay Orchid and the Storm Dog is part of the Earthlock universe, www.earthlockgame.com. Wow, wow, a full-fledged comic. I am not going to read the comic to you guys, and it does look like there's a hammerhead shark that is like the uncle of Amon. So looks like this is going to be a world in which there are animal humanoids and human humanoids. It looks like the comic book ends on a cliffhanger. So this is just part one. Odd that there's only one comic. I don't know. I'm not sure how to make of a comic book that is a, not a standalone. I want a one-shot comic if I'm getting it as part of a collector series. Now, if this is an ongoing series that I'm unaware of, that's fine and that's a promo. But if they don't ever do Earthlock number two comic, then I would be mad. Unless this is a prequel. If it's a prequel to the game, then totally cool. Or if it's the opening cutscene or whatever, the manual story then fine whatever that would be all right nart the english language so weird nart the g is silent how does a g sound just get silent nart tigger moth nart tigger moth that is what we were almost going to name my son cornelius nart tigger moth but we ended up just at the last second we looked at him and it was like that's Cornelius. That's he's definitely not a Nart Tigger Moth. So Nart Tigger Moth, Hog Bunny. So that is a hog bunny. I don't eat rabbits, but I do eat pig. So I don't know how I feel about eating it. But again, if it's sentient, I wouldn't eat it. Hog Bunny Nart Tigger Moth was meant to take their guest on a quiet tour around the capital of Suvia, but soon got himself into trouble. Dot 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 trouble in Ramu. Okay, Nart Tigger Moth is part of the Earthlock universe, www.earthlock.com, soon to be revealed, Earthlock 2. And this is another comic, okay? Trouble in Ramu. This comic has an ending. It actually says the end. So this one, I approve, because it looks like it is 
a standalone one shot. I bet this is hopefully going to be the mascot of the series, Nart Tigger Moth, and it's a giant comic. This you would call a graphic novel, and this you would call a comic. Sometimes just the size alone is what makes it a graphic novel. There's really not too much of a difference other than one is bigger and longer and thicker. Sometimes graphic novels are a little more on the mature side as well. We still have our art book to look at, but let's get back into... Da, 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 da. So let's take the first layer of foam out, and it's still in foam. Everything is still in foam. There is a card set here. I'll get pictures of the cards and show you what they look like, but there's really no point in opening these cards. I can just get a picture offline and show it to you. I can at least keep some value to this, because a lot of times what I do is I buy these games, and then I flip them, and because I open them, I have to pretty much flip them for retail, which is like, oh, wow, first world problems. I know, I know, but I want to open and show you as much as possible, and if I open these, then I will definitely be devaluing this below 95 pounds, you know, in, Eng in English, which equates to like $300, $400 in American. I'm joking, but there is a difference. It was like $136 or something like that to get it here. Everything else I'll open. Everything else I'll open, but the cards I'm going to leave sealed. We'll move on to the official soundtrack. Now, this official soundtrack is not in a jewel case. It, it's in a cardboard case. So they caught a little cost right there. Again, there's your home island. Earthlock. It's the cover of the actual box. You have, wow, there are 34 songs on here. So that is a great deal of songs. The first one is Echoes of the Earth, and the last one is Key to the Earth. I guess for a game called Earthlock, there are a lot of themes around the Earth. And here is the sticker. It was just kind of floating underneath everything. And then we have the game itself. The game is the exact same cover to the Collector's Edition with just more spaced outness from the white borders. That's what I paid for, guys. I didn't even get a special cover. <laughs> Looks like there was foam underneath the CD, and there was foam for everything else, and then there's just nothing else in there. The front's the same, and the back is pretty much the same as well. It has the same exact wording. The only difference are pictures they use on the side are rearranged different. So these pictures are different over here. The arrangement is different. Like the blue one is second. The blue one is at the bottom here. Haven't forgotten about the art book. Okay, so let's open this now, and boom! Looks like we have ourselves a manual, and it's a reversible cover, but the reversible cover is pretty lame in my opinion. If I were to reverse this cover, you are literally getting the same exact front over here. Nothing is different with the exception of you don't get the back, you only get clouds and set. So if you're like, I don't want to see that European code, you can reverse the cover and just get uh, Earthlock and the uh, cloud, a giant cloud. That to me is a very lame. Cartridge itself does not have the artwork on it. I'm very surprised by that. That is very weird. And so I guess this artwork is the artwork that is on the back cover alternate because it's just literally blue and a cloud. This cartridge is very lackluster, but everything else seems to be cool so far. Manual is the artwork of the cartridge. So I had assumed ocean, but it looks like it's more of the sky, which would make sense since Nart here is on a blimp, a flying pirate type ship. Yeah, so it makes a lot more sense that this is more of a skyward sword meets Wind Waker with Fire Emblem battle combat system. I wonder if these people, if they're glad when they're compared to Zelda or if they're like, no, 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 it's nothing like Zelda, I wonder. Anyways, let's look at the manual some. This unofficial seal means that Frog Boy approves this game. And it looks like this is Frog Boy. Not really surprising since he's in it, but we'll take it. According to him, the best part of the game is every frame with a frog. He finds them Quackaliciousless something. That's not a word. To be fair, this is not a word. Quackalish. Like, it's ridiculous with the word crack. 
Crackadiculous. He's also very fond of the part where a certain Drugo gets kicked in the, um, uh, this is a PG channel. He gets kicked in an area that would hurt a man a lot. Uh, by, is that it doesn't actually cuss. He gets kicked in the N-U-T-S by his red haired friend. We have developed this game with our best efforts to make it a fun and engaging experience for all of our fans. You among them. This game is for 12 and up and the contents are control, combat, bonds, talents, overworld abilities. So this is a straight up manual and I like that. I like that they threw a little humor even if it was a little potty humor in the beginning, I do like that they have a little humor and then it's all the controls. It would have been nice if it had maybe a note area, but that's very much nitpicking right there. And for some reason it has a scan code on it. So I wonder if you can buy this by itself. In America, we Yankees call it a manual, but I guess across the pond, it's an instruction booklet. Mother, can you please hand me my instruction booklet of Earthlock, please? And in America, it's like, manual? Ah, oh, who needs that? Let's check out the art book. Hardcover, it is a straight up book. There's a lot of information here. We got Nart, this is glossy, so I'd be careful with the fingerprints. It looks like this has a lot of the character bios in it. This is the uncle I was talking about, Uncle Hammerhead Shark. If you are a huge Earthlock fan, then I'm gonna say you definitely are gonna want this because it has a lot of character information. This does not necessarily seem like an art book to me. Well, I don't know, it seems like a cross between an art book and a behind the scenes of a movie. This is your character bios. This is pretty much an encyclopedia. Overall, I will say this is probably overpriced, but at the end of the day, collectors and Earthlock fans alike, they probably need to get this. I would err on the side of thumbs up. This is a good, super rare game collectible to have. I hope you enjoyed my unboxing. This is Super Rare Games first collector's edition. So if they have more in the future, I'll buy it and unbox it. If they don't, well then just keep looking at my limited run games unboxings because I am going to open every single limited run game and super rare game and I am not sponsored. So they, Super Rare Games does sponsor beat em ups and that's totally cool. If they want to sponsor me too, I will take a sponsorship any day of the week, but I'm just letting you know that I am not sponsored by Super Rare Games. So I bought this with my own money and I hope to sell this and make my money back so I could be even and buy more stuff because again, I thought this was just a little overpriced, but not so much so that it's a deal breaker. I mean, you know, stuff costs money and people, they need to make a buck too. You know what I'm saying? So guys, it's dangerous to go alone. Please share this video, this channel with a friend. Let me know what your favorite item was and have yourselves a great day.